Hello and welcome. My name is Santiago Morato, and I am the program coordinator for the Community Art and Research Project here at the ASU Hispanic Research Center. The ASU Hispanic Research Center, known as the HRC, has a long and rich tradition of exhibiting leading Hispanic artists from Arizona and around the country. The HRC has consistently provided a venue for important artists and works to visit the ASU campus and the surrounding communities. Since 1996, the HRC has developed and hosted many exhibits featuring nationally recognized artists, such as Esther Hernandez, Malaquias Montoya, and Luis Jimenez, among others. Continuing this commitment is a vital component of the future work of the HRC. In the mid 1990s, the HRC director, Gary Francisco Keller, started the HRC's art collection and began documenting the work of local and nationally Hispanic artists, primarily Chicano and Chicana. One of our goals has been to help the works to be understood, not as a folk art or craft, but as a school of American fine art. Our research has led to the production of four art books, several videos about individual artists, and the commissioning of important lithographs. This virtual tour is focused on the lithographs that the HRC has commissioned during the past 25 years. You will have the opportunity to see the artwork images, and more importantly, learn about the artists who created these splendid works and how their culture and experiences have influenced their lives in the creation of their artworks. The themes in these lithographs are an integral part of the diverse Hispanic culture in the United States. And the ASU HRC believes in the importance of celebrating this diversity. This tour is part of our series of art videos based on the HRC's our collection, but it is specifically focused on the lithographs that have been commissioned by the, by the center. These artworks, as well as a selection of bilingual press books are available for purchase to students, teachers, and the community. Please visit the bilingual press website for more information. The first lithograph that we would like to show is by Daniel Martin Diaz. The title is Magicus, and it was produced in 2003. According to Daniel's own words, I quote, one of my earliest memories as a child was the way death and religion played an important role in my family's life. My parents were born in Mexico and had traditional beliefs, and their beliefs made their way into my subconscious. The fact that many of those beliefs seem to render no logical explanation has also influenced me. These unanswered questions find a home in my work, still evoking the mystery, fear, and irony of those vivid memories of my past. I do not claim to understand these questions. I just paint and let them reveal themselves to me. The next lithograph is by Esther Hernandez, and the title is Frida y yo. This lithograph was produced in 1998. Reflecting on her work, Esther says, and I quote, as a Chicana artist, I believe it is important to produce and disseminate positive images of our varied lives. My work counteracts the stereotypes of Latina women as either passive victims or demonized creatures. My subjects range from grandmothers to folk singers to truck drivers. And in a very real sense, my artwork becomes a form of iconography. In honoring the experiences of these bold women, I gain a renewed understanding of myself. The next two artworks are by Cristina Cárdenas. The first is a lithograph entitled Yo Soy and it was produced in 1996. The second 
lithograph is called La Niña de los Espejos, and it was produced in 1997. Cristina says of her work, and I quote, through my artwork, I seek to provide the viewer with the opportunity to consider the challenges and differences that define us as individuals. My work addresses the experiences of people living in the U.S.-Mexico border. As a Mexicana artist living on this border, I feel compelled to expose my country's history, traditions, conflicts, politics, and cultures, and explore the impact of the U.S. experience. These ideas and traditions are almost always portrayed through the experiences of women. The figures are rendered to show the strength and perseverance of women, both personally and as individuals engaged in struggles for justice. I portray these stories often graphically by incorporating fragments of the human figure as well as icons from my history. The next lithograph is by Luis Jimenez, and it is entitled Cholo and Van with Popo and Ixta. It was produced in 1997. Luis Jimenez in his work celebrates the vitality of life. Jimenez es un hijo de la frontera. He knows its people and the landscape. It is the transformation of these people into art that is his most important contribution to the art of this vast region which stretches between Mexico and the United States. His subject matter utilizes the popular images of the Cultura del Norte, and a large part of it is depicted and transformed in the rough and tumble world of La Frontera. He is also a son of El Norte, and so he uses its materials and explores its emerging popular myths. The tension and attraction of Jimenez's work is that he always creates within the space of his two worlds, the Mexicano and the Americano. He constantly shows us the irony of the two forces which repel while showing us glimpses of the synthesis he seeks. What a gift it has been to us for this talented artist to reflect on the soul of our region. He is, gives meaning to our existence and history. The next artist is Felix Lopez. In the title of this lithograph is Mensajera in memoria de mi madrecita Eva. It was produced in 2004. According to Felix, he said, and I quote, I didn't follow my dad's footsteps initially, but came back to wood. As a Santero, I have never been more fulfilled. I love my work. I am extremely supportive of anyone who expresses an interest in learning to carve, especially young children who, because of the experience, may take up the art form as adults. I have experienced many wonderful things through my work, and I would like others to be able to do the same. There is nothing like getting your hands on nature through working with woods, homemade gesso, and natural pigments extracted from minerals and plants. Just picking up a piece of wood is a start. The possibilities are endless and the rewards are many. This next lithograph is by Monica Aisa Martinez. The title is Alchemical Action and it was produced in 2000. In Monica's own words, I quote, my artwork arises from a process in which I try to express my understanding about life energy the growth process, transformations, transcendence, and the natural ability in humans to create. I believe my art is a reflection of myself as a female, as a human being, and ultimately as the creative spirit that I am. Much of my images are based upon the vessel in its role as a container, which I believe is a metaphor for the human body and the mind. My work stresses movement and action taking place within the vessel and then flowing out and evolving. Similar to the life force flowing into and out of the body, thoughts flowing into and out of the mind and eventually forming and creating. This lithograph is by Malakias Montoya. The title is Mujer Zapatista and it was produced in 1998. Of his work, he said, and I quote, as a Chicano artist, I feel a responsibility that all my art should be a reflection 
of my political beliefs and art of protest. The struggle of all people cannot be merely intellectually accepted. It must become part of our very being as artists. Otherwise, we cannot give expression to it in our work. I am in agreement with Pedro Rodriguez when he said, fundamentally, art artistic expression or culture in general reaches its highest level of creation when it reflects the most serious issues of a community, when it succeeds in expressing the deepest sentiment of a people, and when it returns to the people their ideas and feelings translated in a clear and creative way. This next lithograph is by Martin Moreno. The title is Renacimiento, and it was produced in 2004. Commenting about his work, Martin Moreno said, and I quote, my earliest memories of color and rhyme are those of the fields. Sitting in the back of a pickup truck with my family, watching row upon row of corn and tomatoes form a visual pattern of rhythm. Realities of superstition told by the elders, stories of La Llorona, weeping woman, the earth, my glorious past, all these images come to life in stone, paint, and canvas and walls. To point a finger when no one dares, to search one's soul and then to share. This is my purpose as a Chicano artista. We next have a lithograph by Santiago Perez entitled La Princesa de las Ranas Pescamoscas, and it was produced in 2003. Santiago Perez is a painter of colorful and dramatic paintings in the surrealist fantasy, Hispanic, Western landscape, cowboy, and other genres. Santiago paints horses, cowboy scenes, portraits, southwestern landscape, and imagery worlds of fantastic creatures. He gets his inspiration from art history, folk tales, stories, and poetry. Finally, we have Larry Ñañez. The title of this lithograph is I Want a Choya, and it was produced in 1999. Reflecting on his work, he say, and I quote, my work is a reflection of growing up Mexican and American. I describe the humor, fears, strange beliefs, loves, and general misunderstanding of everyday things that most Americans take for granted. Through my work, I try to interpret those things that still capture my imagination, even though they arrive in misinterpreted context. I work with mixed media because sometimes the medium in hand is the easiest to deal with at that time. We are at the end of our presentation and we would like to thank you for your time and your attention. At the HRC, we understand the importance of preserving and promoting art by Mexican American artists. And as mentioned before, our research led to the production of four art books and several individual videos about artists. If you are interested in purchasing some of the artworks, some of the books or the videos, we encourage you to visit or call the bilingual press at the Hispanic Research Center. We can also schedule an appointment to show you the, art, the actual size of the artworks. Again, thanks, be safe, and until next time.